Well, we have some breaking news, folks. As journalist Haley Mason reports, Greg McMichael, Travis McMichael, and William Bryan are found guilty of murder for shooting and killing Ahmed Arbery on February 23rd, 2020 in Brunswick, Georgia. They now face life in prison. We, the jury, find the defendant, Travis McMichael, guilty. Oh. Woo! I'm going to ask that whoever just made an outburst be removed from the court, please. To see his murderers actually be found guilty, I think that is worthy of cheering. Now, I do want to go to a, a quick clip of his mother, Wanda Cooper, reacting. We, the jury, find the defendant, William R. Bryan, guilty. Signed this 24th day of November by the foreperson. Go ahead, MC. Court having read the verdicts and accepted the verdicts, anything from the state? Yeah. I mean, this is not going to bring back her son, but to get a sense of justice, hopefully now this will help her feel at peace. I mean, y you'll never overcome losing a loved one, but this is at least hopefully the beginning of the healing process for her. And the one thing that stood out to me is how this guilty verdict may have never happened had there not been so much outrage over this case because Ahmed Arbery was murdered and it wasn't until months later that his murderers were actually arrested. So for more on this, we go to the Washington Post's Tim Craig and Hannah Knowles, who explain the three men who chased and killed Ahmed Arbery in coastal Georgia last year were convicted of murder Wednesday in a case that once went 74 days without arrests and that many saw as a test of racial bias in the justice system. The decision was read to the court shortly after 1.30 p.m. after less than two days of deliberations. Members of Arbery's family cried out with joy. Travis McMichael, his father, Father Greg McMichael and their neighbor, William Roddy Bryan, were all convicted of felony murder in the shooting of Arbery, a 25-year-old black man, meaning they committed felonies that caused his death. They were also found guilty of aggravated assault, false imprisonment, and attempt to falsely imprison. But Bryan and the elder McMichael were acquitted of malice murder, which involves intent to kill. Each defendant now faces a potential penalty of life in prison without parole. All men still face federal hate crime charges. A leaked video of the February 23, 2020 shooting thrust the case into the national spotlight just weeks before the murder of George Floyd by a white police officer in Minneapolis ignited mass protests against police brutality and racism. Arbery's killing became a rallying point for the Black Lives Matter movement as protesters said Arbery was racially profiled while jogging and accused authorities of brushing his death aside. Now let's just pause for a moment and let the details sink in. They murdered Ahmed Arbery and they were not arrested until 74 days later. And if this case didn't go viral if that video didn't go viral we might not see this guilty verdict today let that sink in that is absolutely insane they murdered someone and they weren't arrested until 74 days later now i'm glad knowing that they are going to spend the rest of their lives behind bars they deserve that but they got away with murder for months and I mean, imagine if this didn't go viral. They might still be walking free today. That is astonishing. It's just, it's a really depressing thing to think about. Now, it was evident from the beginning that the defense had no case whatsoever. This was an actual argument that the defense attorney made during the closing statement. Turning Ahmad Arbery into a victim after the choices that he made does not reflect the reality of what brought Ahmad Arbery to Satilla Shores in his khaki shorts with no socks to cover his long, dirty toenails. Absolutely unreal and despicable. And you can tell that they were grasping at straws. Now, the crux of the defense's argument is as follows, as told by the Washington Post. Lawyers for the defendants said the men were attempting a legitimate citizen's arrest and argued that race played no role. Sure, it didn't. So, you know, with all of these cases, when we actually see justice, that's surprising to me. Even if the facts weren't on their side, if the evidence wasn't on their side, I still doubted this outcome. But I'm glad that we have this outcome. I'm glad that there's justice. But still, it's deeply sad because Ahmed Arbery should be here right now. He should be here right now. So there's justice for his family, and this is the start of the healing process for his mom. But 
he shouldn't be gone in the first place. So overall, you know, I think that it's a relief knowing that they were found guilty and they will be going to jail. But it's still deeply sad to think about the fact that Ahmed Aubrey is not here overall. So, um, you know, this is a breaking story. If more details emerge, then, um, you know, I'll, I'll follow up. But sentencing will follow. But for now, we know that they were found guilty. And um, that's, that's um, I guess you could say, a relief.